Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. Even if we defeat the Geth, you will lose more ships, Tally. You need to be ready for that. My father once told me that commanders mourn losses, not people. He didn't think he could make the big decisions, the ones affecting the whole fleet, unless he put people at a distance. I don't think I can do that. Maybe I'm not meant to be an admiral. They need you here. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. And that probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later.
We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. My cyber warfare suite has accessed their docking protocols. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. As long as it's sterilized. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. Like the Geth are just sitting there saying those organics would never try the no windows thing twice.
Praetorians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? Much. is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. We'd be Geth are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Right. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. Think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Geralt tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hole was the only damage we did. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No. It was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. Hmm. What about the other admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. We'll get your people out of here safely. Found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there.
Egyptian. All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? Wouldn't find one in your size. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the Ops Center before they lose more. signal setting all geth processes the reapers have them completely under control 
We've tried jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The Hunters are moving in! Good night from that! We need to hurry! My people are getting torn apart out there! Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait. If I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. Watch out, they're dropping in! There could be cloaked hunters as well! Heads up, more on the way!
much data the Dreadnought's central processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. served on a lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah. Against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that... noise. I missed you too, Garrus. Signal deactivated shortly, Admiral.
Final bias time. No way they'll fire with that maintenance lock in place. Let's move.
Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. Hey, come on. The drive core shouldn't be far. It's definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Good to see you, Legion. We'll have you out of there in no time. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily, or maybe it's hacked. Good point. Guess we can't take any chances. Shepard Commander, wait. We can assist you. You spoke with us. You know we would never agree to subjugation by the old machines. How do I know you're not under Reaper control? Our architecture prevents it. We are too complex. But we are being used to broadcast the command signal to all Geth. I'm here to destroy that command signal. Freeing us will end the signal. You may then destroy us if you deem it necessary. Okay, Legion. Nobody's gonna get destroyed. Just take it slowly, all right? Wait. You cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No. You successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. Offline, we are free. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Corps. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! 
get reinforcements incoming.
Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the heavy fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Bosh, Tet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion said it could help us. For now, let's hear what it has to say. 
Understood, Commander. So you say you can help? Yes. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without repair guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have repair upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh. We lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have Geth fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need... Ron, the Kanesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. I had hoped the Geth would be useful. Indeed. I'm still double-checking any data it provides on the Reaper base, though. What do you need? What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander.
Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the Systems Alliance. Currently, a... Tali Zora, a Quarian machinist, was born in 2161 on the live ship Raya. During her pilgrimage, a rite of passage in which Quarians proved their worth to the fleet, she recovered a Geth memory core that proved a rogue specter, Saron Arterius, was working with the Geth. As a consequence, Tali Zora became a crew member of the SSV Normandy, where she served under Commander Shepard during the Battle of the Citadel. Tali Zora returned to the migrant fleet following the destruction of the First Normandy. Soon after, the Admiralty Board sent her to the former Quarian colony of Hastrum to recover data on the planet's dying sun. Most of her team was killed when they fell under attack from the Geth. But Tali Zora herself was narrowly rescued by Shepard and the crew of the rebuilt Normandy. The Quarian rejoined Shepard to help oppose the Collector threat, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Jellix, the second planet in the Arai system, is the planet Rannoch, an arid planet orbiting an older star in the Takoon system, is the former Quarian home world. Almost 300 years ago, the Quarians were driven from Rannoch by the Geth, synthetic servants who gained sapience and rebelled against their creators. Although Rannoch is now largely uninhabited, the Geth have acted as caretakers, working to repair the planet's ecology, restore ancient structures, and cultivate some farmland. Rannoch has no insect life. As a result, its pollinating plants evolved to rely on animals for propagation. This symbiosis between flora and fauna is responsible for the Quarians' weakened immune systems, which made colonization of other planets extremely difficult after their exile from Rannoch. For many Quarians, reclaiming their home world from the Geth is a matter of both cultural and physiological necessity. Thank you. 